Over the next couple of weeks, if Mother Nature allows it, salvage crews will be here alongside the McAlpin Dam, working to recover the last two barges that are stuck against it. Back in December, here's how the McAlpin Dam looked. A 15 barge tow collided against the Clark Memorial Bridge, and nine of the barges broke apart and drifted downriver, coming to rest at the dam. Fast forward to March, salvage crews have already recovered seven, but two still remain. We've been slowed down quite a bit by the high water that we've had. Uh, most of the month of February, they were unable to work because of the high flow conditions. Sean Kenny with the Army Corps of Engineers say the last two barges have been the toughest to remove. The way the two barges are, uh, one is kind of sitting on top of the other one or they're uh, pinned up against one another, so that's also making it more difficult. Kenny says despite that, the barges are in no way affecting the flow conditions. For onlookers like Clyde Underhill, he says crews have been moving fast. Sunday we was down here and they still had the nine. So three days, they've take, picked up seven of them. Each barge carried anywhere from 1,500 to 1,800 tons of coal. Kenny says crews have recovered as much coal as they could from inside of the barges when removing them. As far as coal on the bottom, we don't have any information on what's still sitting there. Uh, it's likely that any coal that's still there has been washed downstream. With officials saying there's no environmental concerns, People like Underhill are just taking in the unique view. We came down here. It's, it's a big interesting thing for this area. Luckily, it doesn't happen too often. Shaquille Lord, WLKY News.